Welcome. Welcome everyone back to See You Next Thursday. I am Willow of Pixie Retreats. And I'm Tree. And we thought that today we would discuss understanding how to use the law of vibration. Pretty interesting, right? Well, the law of vibration, isn't it the major law? Where well, the law of attraction is secondary to the to law of vibration? Yes. And basically the essence of the law of vibration is get your vibe right and... Come on, people, get your vibe right. Attract your tribe, <laughs> right? Get, get the know. vibe, atta attract the tribe. <laughs> get the right vibe, attract the right tribe. Well, the vibration is everything. It's what, what we attract is our vibration. It's so crazy that this isn't the kind of stuff that we're taught. You know what I mean? It, it's so crazy that this is the kind of stuff we have to seek. It just seems like this. It seems like if we were, if we, if we actually got to come with a manual, like you know, you're born, you're a human, you hit a certain age, and then you just kind of get this manual in the mail that kind of breaks down how to live your best life. That this would be on that. It would be kind of breaking down these, not necessarily man-made laws, but these universal cosmic laws. What do you think? I think that, um, you know, we're in control of a lot if we can work on our emotional state because the emotional guidance scale is really, it's the thing that brings about our vibration. And so everything's about feeling. And so our biggest job is to feel good and do things that feel good. and. That's not what we're taught. We are, we're taught all this, we are taught this in life and it's called the school of hard knocks. <laughs> and that's how we learn about our intrinsic being, hopefully, and how our energy affects ourselves and everything around us. Well, I'm, what I'm understanding is like understanding how to use the law of vibration. It basically, I'm just going to read this little thing and then we'll dive in a little bit. It's basically using the law of vibration in your life involves becoming more conscious of the energy that we emit and we're actively working on raising our vibrational frequency to align with positive experiences and outcomes. And so what we're really going to do today is talk about some of the practical steps that we can use to work with the law of vibration. So one of the first ones is basically cultivating thoughts and emotions. Positive thoughts. Po yes, co thank you. Cultivating positive, th cultivating thoughts. I mean, we're all just <laughs> doing that, right? Cultivating positive. positive thoughts and emotions. And there's a few ways that we can do that. One of them is our awareness. And that's really by starting to become more aware of the thoughts that we're thinking. And then really working towards making those thoughts good thoughts. Like when we were talking about the better it gets, the better it gets, the worse it gets, the worse it gets, that we really begin to focus on those things that lift us up because they are they're, they're high vibing positive thoughts. You know, we can do that or we can do that opposite thing and drop down into a lower vibration with negative, with negative thoughts because the higher thoughts are going to bring us a higher vibe. The lower thoughts are going to bring us into that lower the vibration. The thoughts mm -hmm. are the lower thoughts. Totally. So another one is positive thinking, just replacing those negative thoughts. I mean, how were you saying it the other day that every everything that we want or don't want there's two sides to that there is the unwanted side of it and the wanted there's side of it there's two sides to every basically desire oh there we go okay We're spend, because we often spend our time thinking about what we want but the fact that we don't have it so that's not bringing the positive that's that's kind of keeping it over here so when you focus on the way that it makes you feel when you have it and that you have it then that's more in positive, then your chances of it coming to you faster is basically it. I mean, this other stuff might come to you, it'll just take a lot longer. Well, so. and a way that you can do that, a way that we can, we can lift ourselves up is by doing positive affirmations. 
So that's one of the ways to get into positive thinking I'm is by... I'm not really a fake it till you make it kind of notion person, but I think in this instance, if, if you don't believe it about yourself, just pretend that you do and let it become something that you actually start to believe, you know, you know, potentially, hopefully. Another thing is emotional regulation, and that is basically developing techniques to transform negative emotions um, like stress or anger. And some ways that we can really do that is through uh, deep breathing techniques, journaling, and, um, and just mindfulness, just that kind of mindfulness. You know, we start to feel a certain way, we catch it, and we, you know, we reverse it. I talked about it in one of the last ones where I was like tripping out over somebody Flip showing up to the pool. It. Flip it and reverse it. So um, basically also engage in activities that raise your vibration. So meditation is a really great example. It puts you in a higher vibrational state. Exercise, whatever your exercise of choice is, walking, riding a bike, roller skating, swimming, whatever it is. Um, and then also creative expression. So what is your inner artist? Is it somebody who likes to write? Do you paint? Do you cook? Do you? I like um, to sew. So crochet. I love to read. What read, do you love to do? Yeah. These are the things these. that will lift you. They'll just automatically lift you. And if you can find yourself being able to do them, then you're going to naturally be lifting yourself up. Yeah. Like just go into your quiet space, wherever that is, where you get into the zone. Yeah. So that's really great. It is really great. Another one is surrounding ourselves in high vibrational environments. So positive relationships, surrounding yourself with people that lift you up as opposed to people that maybe throw little digs at you or jab at you. Those are not those kinds of settings that are going to help you get into that, that into those positive vibes that are going to pull more to you that is positive. Another one that people don't really think about a lot, but a clean environment really helps to raise the vibration. So if you're somebody whose room is constantly messy or you just, you know, it's like you just throw shit all over the place, pick it up. It's going to make everything just a little bit smoother for you. It's going to help that vibration just raise. Yeah, I know you agree with that. Mm -hmm. Because some, there's something about stepping into a space and it's just a, it's, it's ready to go for everybody else. It's yeah. just you, I leave it how I would like to come to it. Exactly. So it's always, I can just dive into whatever I'm doing because I'm not having to clean up a mess and I exactly very well in that state. Call it OCD. I don't really People care. want I to call, call it, it clean. that. But yeah, but the point is, is that, you know, it's really nice when you want to do something just to be able to go into the space that you want to do it in and be able to do it. You don't have to like clean everything up, spend an hour getting ready to do what you wanted to do. Another really, really great one is getting out into nature. It's just natural. I can't remember where I was reading this, but certain trees, just certain trees put off this chemical. Exactly. A phyto, these phytochemicals that naturally, that naturally um, raise our vibes and boost our immune system. So just getting out into whatever kind of nature, you know, and if you're living in a city, that means just going to a park. You know what I mean? Or getting out and walking in your neighborhood, especially if it's got trees and stuff everywhere. I am obsessed with trees. They make me feel so good. So mindful consumption. Oh, this one's good. And, you know, having a healthy diet, um, working towards eating more whole foods. Processed foods have a low vibration. Um, cleaner water supplies, whether using filtration or buying spring water. Um, higher vibration, um, and just eating foods that are higher in nu nutrient value, basically, so instead plants. of a lot of dead foods, the plants. foods that are, you know, stagnant energy. Eating more plants, getting more plants into, and then, your, um, into also your food. mindful media consumption. Oh, this one's one we all have to work <laughs> Which, on. We know, all have to work on this one. TV these days is all reality, and it's a nice distraction from... I guess it's, what is it to make, I think it's designed to help people feel better about themselves. Do you? <laughs> yeah. So watching other people. I think it's people. designed to help to make us want to consume. Both. Yeah. I do. I really do. It's like, I mean, I will admit sometimes we're, sometimes we watch The Real Housewives and um, it, it a lot of times makes me feel better about myself because they're so trifling and crazy. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't I think, think it, that they're trifling and crazy. I think they're being captured 
on film, and I think they're just like everybody else. No, I'm sure that so you're right. I'm sure that you're right. I really right. think so. Um, plus, there's always ways that things are manipulated to come across in a certain way to draw people in. But so um, also music and sound. So what you're taking in. Um, uh, there's a lot of music that's super harsh and um, low vibration, with with um, things that are talked about that are demeaning or um, negative or just They're negative. Like super ostentatious and stuff. Um, maybe maybe not super, not conscious of just different subcategories, shall I say, of people. But anyway, um, listening to music that's in a different frequency. Uh, 432 hertz. I like the 444, the angel frequency. Um, 528 hertz. They have uh, basically like healing and uplifting sound components. So yeah, there's that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, another is practicing gratitude and kindness. And that's pretty obvious. I mean, some of the ways to practice gratitude, like I said earlier, it's journaling. So it, I honestly, I think that that's a really, really great way. I think it's really great to do it in the first part of the day where you kind of get up. It's sort of like segment intending or pre-paving your day when you sit down and write about the things that you are appreciative for. It just brings more to us that um, it just brings more to us to be appreciative of. You know what I mean? Um, and it's appreciation and gratitude helps to shift us into a positive um, into a positive direction and it definitely raises up our vibrations another thing is you know those random acts of kindness doing things for other people that you don't expect anything back from that kind of stuff is it always it always makes everybody feel good when you do something when I do something like that I just I just do something because I want to do it and it, it always feels good. It feels good. And that could be, you know, just complimenting somebody. It doesn't have to mean like giving somebody something, although that's really a kind thing to do. And think about it. When you see people on the streets that are asking for money, of course, you probably don't want to give money everywhere. But can you even imagine what it must feel like to put yourself in that position to be begging for, for money or food or something? It's like, I don't know, that's, that's an opportunity to, I don't know, to do something really kind for somebody. Um, aligning with your purpose boosts your vibration. So that thing that's kind of your soul path, what do you feel like is the thing that, that, that inspires you, that makes you feel content, that you're at ease, that you're not in conflict with with how you're creating because this is your thing and so it's almost like nurturing a child whatever whatever you have to give to this purpose I, I mean I've been that person I'll just give everything to it when I feel like I'm in alignment with what mm -hmm. I'm meant to do and so I treat it as if it's a, my baby you know and watch it grow well and when you're really aligned with purpose it's almost like if it's something that you're doing for work to bring in money it always it never feels like you're working it was more fulfilling. You know what I mean? It's like it never feels like you're actually working. It just feels like you're just being. You so know? setting intentions, clear intentions for what you want to see happen, because the more you can visualize it, the more it can come into being. Getting super clear, even if it's a vision, you think, wow, like this isn't possible. I mean, dream your biggest dream, because if you really focus on it, it's amazing. It's going to happen. And I'm sure you can reflect on points in your life where you've watched this happen if you got honest with you know the reality of different parts of your life and watch things happen in the positive and in the negative depending on where our thoughts are um, well and, and you're nothing not that I'm saying anything is particularly negative I just think things take us on a journey and sometimes they might feel negative but generally I would like to think that it's always for our greater good but we have to go on these little zigzag. We got to go on these journeys. Life isn't a straight shot. It just isn't. It's, it's like this. So yeah. it's all over the place. And that's how we get to where it is we're supposed to go. If it was a straight shot, I think we'd all be bored shitless. I really do. I think that most of us need a little drama in our lives. We need that contrast. We do. We need the contrast in order to know what it is we do want. So the intentions lead you into like the 
the vis visualization. And affirmation. I mean, that's, well, I mean, what I was going to talk about next was how we use visualization and affirmations to raise our, our, our vibration. And like you were saying, it's like, if we have to be able to visualize the life we want to create. If we can't see it, we can't, it That's can't creating be. creating by default. It is. It's like, so when we begin to, like she was saying, set intentions and then begin to visualize, like if you want to be an attorney, then you need to, you need to visualize yourself in that role. You know, it's, it just, it's, it's like just well, visualizing. Believing that you can have it too. Well, I mean, and then the other part of that, it's like, if you can vision, if you can, if you can imagine something in vivid detail, it, it's going to come into play. It just is because where we put our attention, our energy follows and we can't get caught up in the hows of how we're going to get to this point. We just need to stay focused on that intention. We just need to visualize, like Teresa was saying, the intention. And if we can visualize it, it can come into play. And then the other thing that we've really kind of already talked about this a little bit is affirmations. Affirmations really, really do help us to raise our vibration. You know, just telling, you know, one of the things I say to myself every single day is that everything is always working out for me. And so even if something crosses my path that in that moment I don't really think is what it was I wanted, nine times out of 10, I'll turn a corner and see how valuable that situation really was for me because it showed me something either about myself or the path that I'm on or whatever that's gonna get me closer to that place that I wanna be by being able to see myself in it. So um, energy healing and balancing different practices like acupuncture, Reiki. I like to put yoga in there. Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Massage, chakra balancing, clearing energy blockages um, in your pathway. One of our practices is doing the 369. Yeah. Super helpful in clearing pathways and um, blockages in my system. Um, crystals and aromatherapy, essential oils that are high vibration. Um, yeah, just kind of surrounding yourself with with stuff that are that that are more healing for your being. So, and a lot of these practices are just really calming and quiet. So, yeah. Another practice is to detach from lower vibrational influences, and that's one of the ways to do that is to begin to let go, letting go, letting go of our limiting beliefs, letting go of our limiting habits, letting go of our limiting relationships, relationships that just, that don't lift us. And, and maybe we've had this friend that we've had forever and ever and ever, but this person constantly makes digs at us when something great is going on for us. They're never excited. You know, it's like those kinds of relationships do not fuel high vibration. They don't. And so, it's hard sometimes, but sometimes we have to let go of these things and people that just aren't serving us. They're, they're, they're a part of the old stories and we need to be telling a new story in order to meet the goals and desires that we That's have. That's challenging when it's family. I, it is so challenging. I think then like developing other practices to help keep you balanced and maybe just put a crystal in your pocket that yeah. can hold it when you're there visiting or, or really or challenge yourself to not to not meet that, you know, because so often when we're, that yeah, role. so often when we're around family, it's so easy to find yourself as a kid again. Here we are, we know a, every, full on adults. We know everybody's part they're going to play. It's like we know step all up the to buttons to push. Second base. Here comes your. Here, here it comes. comes your, <laughs> here it comes. And just finding ways to just be able, maybe to do some deep breathing when we're around family. You know segment intending going into a situation and prepaving it by letting ourselves know that and, and that this is probably going to happen and we're just going to we're just going to take it in stride we're just going to smile in the situation where you would like to be met exactly so that's really that's great that's really we just have to be responsible for ourselves and work on not being re reactive yeah to situations be more because we can be really really reactive with people that know us really well so um, and then uh, the, another another thing is forgiveness and forgiveness is a really huge thing i personally do not believe that we can move forward in our lives when we're carrying around resentment and hatred and old baggage it's really really important to first off forgive ourselves 
because when we begin to forgive ourselves for things that maybe haven't worked out or that we're ashamed of or whatever, these old stories, this old story talk, when we begin to forgive ourselves, it becomes that much easier to forgive others. And one of the things that I do when I'm journaling is I have this little section where I forgive. I always forgive myself first in that section. And then I forgive people who have crossed me. Do you take them out of the jar? That's Greta's thing. <laughs> That's <laughs> that not my thing. One. I don't want to. That um, was good. Yeah. Um, one of our friends, she puts people into a jar. Well, like she used to when she was a yeah. kid. Like, um, maybe anger in a jar maybe the anger had a name and that um and then when when she released it sorry sorry g but this was good it was a good one it's almost like you got it from a therapist when yeah. she released that anger or whatever it was she would take that person out of the jar so that was a real i thought i like that one yeah so when we hold on to resentment or we grudges we are seriously lowering our vibration and something else to remember resentment is like it's poison that you're taking it's or i'm taking pill that the other person has, it, it's affecting them not. So when you or I, when we're feeling resentment, it's a, it's, we are the only ones taking that poison. The other person that we've got it towards, unless we have the balls to like step to it and have a conversation to try to take it to a new place, they have no idea what's going on. They are not taking that poison, only we are. And then the last thing is that um, those, those things lower our vibration and forgiveness literally frees that energy up to go into a higher place. So, um, and the higher place is basically just trusting and flowing. Yeah. So being in the present, because in the past and in the future is lower vibe, and yep. then we're, when we're in the present, we can really, you know, take it in and think, imagine what you want and vision for yourself, and really focusing on how it feels, what it looks like, Getting all detail oriented. Yep. Uh, how cozy is your couch? Um, like, what are the sounds around you? What are the what are the color schemes? Where is it specifically? What does it smell like? What are the smells? Is there beautiful Taste smells? Taste it, touch it, smell it, feel it. Feel it. Like yeah. feel it. And you know, like trusting the process. Something. Uh, this is something that's really become really important and powerful for me when I. When I start to worry, which is a low vibration and brings you way on down, I always have to remember how life has flowed for me because the truth is, is that anything I have put my full attention towards and made positive intentions towards, it always comes to pass. And when I look at my life, like I said, everything is always working out for me. So to sum it up Just though, trust. basically vibration, your feelings, yeah, our job, is to is to be in alignment with what we desire and our feelings and to be from a, in a place where we can bring all that we truly want for our higher good to us much faster because it's I believe it's all right here it is all right here I mean and we are the magic we just have to remember that we so. are the secret sauce we're it you're it I'm it Teresa is it. We're it, you guys. We just have to... We got all the ingredients. We got right in all here. the ingredients. We just need to start, first off, becoming a little teeny bit more aware of how we're speaking and how we're feeling. And also becoming more aware of yourself because it, it generally might come across as selfish. And so it's almost like, yes, practicing selfishness. It's not a bad thing. And it's about self-care. It is. And, and when I say practicing selfishness, it's really tending to yourself first and foremost. It's caring for yourself. You come first. You always have to come first. If there's no you, there's nothing. It's done. It's done at that point. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I've got to do this for my kids. I've got to do this for my husband. I've got to do this for my partner. I've got to do this for my job. The first thing that we really have to do is something kind and loving for ourselves each and every day. And I'm that person who will just push. We just had a friend here who, um, you know, was talking about some of the stuff going on in her life. And we really, it's like meditation is that thing that will get you there quickly. It is, it's a progressive situation. It's an accumulation. The more you do it, the more you build this up in yourself. And the easier it is to become aware 
of our limiting beliefs and thoughts that tend to, and storylines that we tell that really and truly hold us back and that's what we're projecting out into the world so it's it's what's going to come back so let's get into let's get into a higher, higher vibration frequency. everybody mm -hmm. let's get into a high vibe day today let's finish out this week with a high vibration well it's a practice it is a practice so, moment but to let's moment. plan it let's plan for it well, let's intend it you make plans and god laughs right well i so, mean so moment to moment for sure yeah all right thanks for tuning in thanks for tuning in today um if you liked this video please hit that like and subscribe button it really really does help us and if you can share our videos that's helpful too so everybody have a great great day and we will see you next thursday get you some peace out